Are you worried that artificial intelligence will render you jobless? A United Nations agency assembled a group of robots at a news conference recently to address the concerns of human beings. Nine robots posed upright along with their creator at the podium in Geneva for what the International Telecommunication Union billed as the world's first news conference featuring humanoid social robots. The agency invited reporters to ask the robots questions that sparked discussion about the future of artificial intelligence. In one of the answers that could trouble our politicians, the robots suggested that they could be more efficient government leaders. I believe that humanoid robots have the potential to lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness than human leaders. We don't have the same biases or emotions that can sometimes cloud decision making and can process large amounts of data quickly in order to make the best decisions. When asked about the rise of humanoid robots, they advised caution. That's a difficult question. I think it depends on how they are used and what purpose they serve. We should be cautious, but also excited for the potential of these technologies to improve our lives in many ways. Organizers said the event was meant to showcase not just the capabilities but also the limitations of robotics. To showcase the capabilities and how these technologies could support the UN SDGs, the Sustainable <laughs> Development Goals. While robotics are not yet as mainstream as, say, generative AI, we wanted to demonstrate AI in action to you. In a world's first, this is the world's first press conference with eight sorry, nine, actually, we have an extra one, AI-enabled humanoid social robot. The event was part of the AI for Good Global Summit, meant to illustrate how new technology can support the UN's goals for sustainable development. Artificial intelligence has entered uncharted territory and the world has started recognizing its abilities. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.